Hello everyone, welcome back to another Recycled Crafts with me, Miss Echo. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an egg carton lizard. So, I don't have it made yet because I'm going to make it on this video. Um, but it's going to look roughly like this, only a little bit cooler because I am a little bit more skilled at crafting than I am at drawing. So, what you're going to need to make this egg carton lizard, you're going to need egg cartons. You're going to need about... Uh, three of the one dozen egg cartons or two of the 18 count egg cartons. You're going to need some glue, some googly eyes if you have them. If not, that's okay. You can use a marker. You're going to need some scissors and that's about it. So what we're going to do to get started is you're going to take your egg carton and I've already cut out of this one. So you're going to take your egg carton and you just want these middle bits, these cones of the egg carton. Um, so you're just going to cut straight through those um, or straight through where the eggs are held. And you're going to need about 12 of them. So uh, you can just cut straight down the strip if you want. Um, I've already cut out most of mine, so I'm just going to show you one. Um, so I'm not sitting here cutting everything while you're watching me on this video. And then you have this cone shape, but we want it to be more of like a true cone shape and not with these extra little feet on it. So we're gonna cut off the little feet. And now we have a cone. So I've, as I said, I've already cut out all of the different bits of uh, the egg carton that I'm going to need. And I'm going to start in the middle. Um, so that way, well, it's kind of the middle. It's where we're gonna connect them facing away from each other so that way this builds the body and this builds the tail. So you're just going to glue these two together and it helps if you have um, some all-purpose glue or Elmer's glue. Um, these two will just stick together anyway because they are uh, meeting at these bigger bits. Um, but I like to put glue in there anyway. So now we have the bit that's going to um, attach to, actually this one's going to attach to the body and then this one is going to attach to the tail. So I'm going to start building out the tail first. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put glue around the edge of the cone and then I'm just gonna start building out the tail. So I'm just gonna keep putting cones on cones on cones um, to build a nice long tail. Well it's kind of long, it's not gonna be super duper long. Um, but we're gonna keep doing that all right, so that looks like a decent enough tail at the moment. My glue is not yet dry, which is why it's moving all around. But to give you the gist, this is what you're going to do again for the body. But instead of curving the, the pieces to make a nice um, curved tail, we're just going to go straight on the, um, the body part. So see how this kind of disappears a little bit. It's really just so that way you hold the different pieces together um, to make the body face a different way. So I'm only doing a little bit of glue because um, it's just for demonstration purposes. But you're just going to keep doing this until you build out uh, a nice long body. And then, all right, so now we have, we have our body and we have our tail. And the way that we're going to differentiate, oh wait, I have extra pieces. Let me add another one. So the way that we're gonna differentiate between the, the head and the rest of the body is we're going to make this head into a mouth like this. We're just gonna cut on the 
silicone part to create a mouth. Like this. So now you have your your head. We're going to glue that on. And we have our mouth. So if you wanted to um, add a piece of paper as a tongue, I'll show you how to do that. But really, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some googly eyes. I'm going to put them on the tops of these corners. And you'll probably want to use a little less glue than what I'm using, but that's okay. So now we have our lizard. Um, we want to add some feet. So you take a couple of the flatter pieces from the egg carton and we're going to cut these so that way we can create some feet. So I'm just going to kind of create some toes um, by cutting straight lines into the flat edges and I'm going to do that for all four. So we're cutting these toes in here. All right. So then you'll just glue these feet under your lizard like so. So we have our feet, we have our tail, we have our body, we have our head. Now we're gonna create the tongue. So I'm just going to use a strip of this red paper that I had from earlier. All right, so in order to create a tongue, you probably want it to be a little bit thinner than what I just cut. Um, this is probably about the size of my pinky nail. And what we're going to do is we're just going to curl it by rolling one of the edges into a circle like so. All right, and now we have this little tongue and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom and then I'm gonna stick it into the mouth like that. So now we have our lizard. So I did not glue the feet down just in order to keep the video shorter. But if I were to turn the lizard off to the side, if I were to glue the feet on, you would see that I've got a fun little egg carton lizard. Now you can, um, you can paint the lizard any colors that you want. If you have paint, I don't, um, but you can also color in the different sections if you wanted to give it stripes. You can make it as long or as short as you want, depending on how many egg cartons you have. Maybe you have different colored egg cartons and you can make it different colors naturally. Either way, I hope that you enjoyed this craft today. Thank you for crafting with us.